I can use Mathematica to check if there are useful results or not, which would normally use some days to get a result. I can get in a few hours with Mathematica. I am employed from a German research center, which is now the branch called uh, the Jülich Center of Newton Science, which has an outstation here at Grenoble, at ILL. And here we are operating a Newton spectrometer, and always now at the few last few years doing improvements because the beam time is usually, well, very limited and you have lots of users you want to measure. So we got some funding for new uh, components and job the last few years was uh, more or less to design these new components to improve the efficiency, to decide what we will build, what we will uh, buy and so this is where Mathematica comes in as a useful tool. Mathematica served as a tool to simulate components which I couldn't find in existing programs. And with that I, I could really speed on to make simulations of the performance of these devices. The power of the symbolic calculations that I can recheck, let's say my own mathematics, what I have done, or go through some really lengthy things. And then I can directly program something and say, aha, okay, we can use this and I can improve this optimization method. So this example now is a device which acts as a neutron polarizer. And for magnetic research, or if you want to measure magnetic uh, properties on a sample, uh, you need sometimes, or it's a good tool, to analyze the spin of the neutron. So we were looking for an efficient device to polarize the beam. And uh, in the last few years, they came up a possibility um, which is called a, a cavity. And that means you have a tilted plate in a Newton guide. So this cavity, these are these tilted plates. So the Newtons are coming in. And the question is how they are reflected out or not, or if they are coming through. And when, when they are coming through, uh, which spin they have. So I defined a section with the functions, all these routines you need for the, for the calculation. Then there is a part where I make loops over the a certain parameter and uh, make this for different wavelengths, so to check if the wavelength range we want to, to uh, have, that this is possible. When you combine these values, and then you can, over the wavelengths, you can see the different cases that I've calculated for polarization, for transmission, and also this figure of merit. And finally, I put this together, that you have this reflectivity value for the guide, which is the parameter in question, and the wavelengths of the neutrons. And I see where is the polarization, the transmission, and this figure of merit. And then finally, well, it came out that it's feasible and we get the polarization rate around 97%, which was good enough for us with an acceptable transmission and the device is now built. With Mathematica then I could really go and, and also understand what is really in the background, what is the mathematics behind, what is, is doing, which affects what, and to get well, a better way to or a faster way to, to come to some results.